Hey everyone, today I'm going to be sharing my top five tips on how to take care of your gel nail brushes, how to clean them, and how to make them last longer. So my first tip is to make sure and purchase gel brushes that come with a cap. So when working with gel, once you use a brush in gel, you're never fully going to get that gel out of the brush. There's always going to be a little bit of gel left in the brush at all times. So you want to make sure you have a cap on your brush because if you don't and it gets exposed to light, the gel that's left over in the brush can actually cure the brush and you'll end up with a brush that's pretty much unusable. So always make sure to purchase brushes that come with caps. If they do not come with a cap, then I suggest storing them in a drawer away from any sunlight, making sure you know, you're know you not leaving them out on your desk because any exposure, again, even if you're just by a window, that can cure your brushes. Or if you are doing a set of nails and you accidentally leave them kind of out in front of your gel lamp or your gel lamp, the rays from your gel lamp are shining around other parts of your desk, your brushes will get ruined. So make sure you have caps. If not, keep them in a drawer. So tip number two is to avoid acetone or anything else that could be drying. I also try to avoid alcohol whenever I can. I use it every once in a while, but I really try to avoid any acetone or alcohol on my brushes. So I use a dry lint-free wipe to clean them. I will just take this dry wipe like this and I will squeeze kind of the brush in between the dry wipe and kind of get out any of the excess gel that way. And so I really try not to use too many products that are gonna be drying, that's gonna dry out the bristles over time and then you're just gonna end up with a sad little brush. Tip number three is to use clear gel when you are trying to clean your brushes out from colored gels. So if you ever use potted colored gels like this, you would then use a gel brush to kind of scoop it out and apply it onto the nail. And so a lot of times that color will still be in the brush for quite a while. Again, once you put gel in a brush, it just goes into those bristles and it finds all sorts of hiding places. So it's impossible to get 100% of the gel out of the brush once you've used it. But it can be difficult if you use a color, especially a color like this. It's kind of like a dark red color. You know, if you ever wanted to use a lighter color that's potted, then you might have some difficulties because you're gonna have remnants of this dark red color in your brush still. So in order to kind of switch between colors, I will put a little bit of clear gel on a palette and then I will take my brush and kind of run it through that clear gel. And that clear gel will actually start to work out the old color that was in the brush previously. And then again, I will use a dry wipe to kind of squeeze out the excess. And I will do this a couple times, and then that should get most of the color out of your brush. Some other things that can kind of help with this also is to keep separate brushes for different types of color. So like you could have one brush for darks only, one brush for white only, like no other color other than white, one brush for kind of lighter colors, things like that. So that way it's a little bit easier and you don't have so much um, cleaning to do because you're trying to use a dark color and then after that you want to use a light color, things like that. So tip number four is to keep a separate brush for glitter. Once a brush touches glitter in my studio, it does not touch anything else because you will never get that glitter out of that brush and you will have little remnants of glitter everywhere in every other color that you use if you use that brush for other things. So once a brush touches glitter, I do not put it into anything else. And also, usually I will designate older brushes, like I'll have, I'll get a new brush, it works amazing, I'll use it for quite a while, and once it kind of starts to maybe get a little stiffer or it doesn't work as well after i've used it a lot then that brush will now become a glitter brush so then i'm only going to use that brush for glitter and then once it gets to its end of its life then i'll throw it away so a lot of times i keep older brushes for glitter or even the really inexpensive brushes i will keep for glitter only because you don't need really anything fancy to apply glitter and you're never going to get the glitter out of it once you use it for glitter 
So tip number five is if you accidentally bend a brush, which I have done before with this exact brush, this is the Ugly Duckling Striper 2 brush. And this is one of my favorite striping brushes. Sometimes we put the cap on in a hurry. And then when we open the brush back up, the brush is like crooked. Like it's like, Wah. and that's really sad. And it's really hard to work with a crooked brush. So one tip that you can do to kind of help fix it is get some boiling water and then put it into a bowl or a cup or something and just drop your brush into that boiling water just for a couple seconds and pull it back out and it should help straighten the brush back out. I've, I've had to do it with this brush before because I love this one and I wasn't ready to let it go. So um, that's a little tip to help you if you accidentally bend a brush or a brush gets really frayed somehow. Usually it's because of the caps because you gotta be really careful when putting that cap on that you're not squishing the brush when you do it. And I know some people are gonna wonder what are my personal favorite brushes. So first of all, I love the Light Elegance Selena Ryden brushes. It's just like a really great collection of brushes. You have a striping brush, you have a square brush, you have a really short, tiny brush, one that's kind of in the middle. And then you also get two little fluffy brushes, which are, are great. I love this one for like dusting off chrome. So things like that are, this is a really great all around set. If you're new or you only have a couple brushes and you want to get, you know, a really good, well-rounded line, this line is really great. My current um, obsession right now is the tiny short liner brush. I get this brush from Zilla Beau and it's so, so skinny. It's great. I use it for everything, for little tiny details. I love this brush so much. I will make sure and link it down in the description box. So I hope these tips helped you learn how to take care of your brushes. If you have any other questions, drop them down in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Follow me on my social media and I will see you guys later. Bye.